I was sitting in seventh grade class. Um, our school wasn't broadcasting it. Um, it was on the news. Um, it was funny, our teacher, uh, it was a social studies class, our teacher got a call on his cell phone, which he normally wouldn't take, but he picks it up and says, oh my gosh, are you serious? And he didn't believe it, so then he didn't agree with the rules, puts the, the, the TV on what was going on, we started watching it, and I didn't believe it at first, because I was uh, 12 or 13, something like that, in seventh grade, and I'd seen movies and stuff, and explosions and buildings go down, and I, I was like, there's no way. No one can reach out and touch us like that. And I was, I mean, obviously very naive, and war happens. It's, it's happened for thousands of years where we'd be crazy to think it's not gonna continue to happen. But uh, the second you start attacking people that have nothing to do with it, um, I just don't have much sympathy for you once we come after you. But knowing that at some point my brother, who's my best friend, like if literally anything happens, he's the first person I call. And knowing that someday or someday, I mean soon, maybe within the year, He'll be flying missions over there that, yeah, he could be shot out of the sky. He went to the Air Force Academy for four years, um, graduated from there, and now he's in currently training for pilot training, and then he'll have a few months left in that, and then he'll become active and start flying missions. I know that kind of skews my opinion some, but at the same time, uh, uh, I'm very supportive, very patriotic toward, toward the cause. Um, I think a lot of people try to say war is a bad thing, and it is, but we're in one, and you have to support our people that are there, because they're people too. They're not just, they're not, they're not some pawn in a game. They're a human being. They come back, they, they go out to movies, they hang out with their family, just like we do, but they're making the ultimate sacrifice for us, so you have to support them at all costs, whether you agree with the war or not. It's you support those troops, because what they're doing is for us. If those of us that can do those things don't, who will? Um, it's, just, it's a leadership principle that if you find that within yourself that you can do that, you do it. It's not, a, it's not someone asking you to do it, you do it because it what needs, it's what needs to be done. Knowing that I'll, I'll more than likely never serve in our military or be able to make that sacrifice for our country, I think that's one very, very, very small way I can show support for our, our troops and our country regardless of what's going on within our country, political, wartime, whatever, um, showing that, that little sign of support um, means a lot to me, um, just on a personal level and as, uh, as our team, because I'm not the only one. I mean, there's, there's a lot of people on our team and here in town and all over that feel the same way, and if you give them that opportunity, they'd be all for it. I just think the, the people rallying um, together is the biggest thing and it needs to continue. It's not, it's not, oh, somebody attacks us, let's go be patriotic. It's an all the time thing. And you don't, you don't have to wear American flag shirts and, and be all hoorah about it. It's not what it's about. It's about, I mean, supporting each other, supporting businesses in our community, um, supporting our troops when they come back, giving them good healthcare plans because of what they have seen and done over there is things beyond I can even imagine. So it's supporting everyone. It's not that big hoorah. Yeah, everybody charges up, wants to go attack them and fight back, but it's, it's now 10 years after, then 20 years after, 30 years after, when the next attack happens, because it will happen again. Something will happen again. So it's, you have to support all the time. It's not fire up, let's go. When it happens, it's all the time.